Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? Hey. Guess who's on his way in? What, Davidoff? He just called the office. Arrange him a lunch, he says. He treats the office staff like his uh, uh, personal assistants. He shouldn't be a drain on our resources. Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you let the garage staff know he'll be wandering around down there and make sure we have the usual room set up for him? Yeah, no problem. Roll out the red carpet. Davidoff's in town. Last I heard he was joining us in Singapore, but today he just shows up. Don't let him get to you like this. We'll handle him. <sighs> Remind me why I went into business with him. At least you have an F1 team. For now. Look, he wants us to succeed. Doesn't always feel like it, Cass. Huh. I'll see you in the meeting. Hmm. Yeah. Could you take a look at this, please? Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now, let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi, oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now, you, you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of... Uh... Involved? How? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Huh. And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was your new role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. <laughs> Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But, uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. Wouldn't listen to Casper's advice, that was a problem. And then Andreo, he was worried about the future of the team. He had Dad breathing down his neck. And Callie? Well, let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes. Two Connor Sport teammates not exactly doing each other any favours this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aiden playing at? Tell him to back off. Okay, Kelly, he knows. Clearly, he doesn't know. <sighs> yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but Mayer, no chance. Not letting him pass. Towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's too close. There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? This now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? OK, box please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. This is a joke. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy.
hitting this lap then, coming to the pits at the end of this lap. OK, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Trading the car ahead by 3.5 seconds. This is going to cause reduced grip until they clear. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining.
minutes of fuel remaining. Work, mate, that brings you up a place. Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. So Mayer managed to pull it back in the end, but if this continues, Connor Sport are in real danger of sabotaging their own chances of a decent finish this season. There is so much talent in that team, and yet they're their own worst enemy. The reason they're not making progress is each other. Ridiculous state of affairs. And it's clear that Jackson continues to be the aggressor. Is it personal, Natalie? Well, you know, it does seem that way from the outside looking in, but all I know is they just can't go on like this. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently, and it's clear to see that they've put in the work, and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here. Now, once again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. Is the team sabotaging its own chance of a decent finish this season? <laughs> Punditry is your job, Natalie. <laughs> no, I am not here to comment on those kind of narratives. I will stick to driving the car, thank you. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today. So is it good to have him back around again? 
I mean, never tell him I said this, but uh, I don't mind having him around. Um, he's the most infuriating person I've ever met, but he knows the sport as well as anyone, and it'll be good to have his input. Well, look, I'm loath to ask how bad your relationship is between you and Aiden, but there's been more contact today, so just enlighten us. I mean, since when were two teammates the best of buddies? There's always going to be a bit of friction, so, you know, I, I want to win, and Aiden wants to win, and we get in each other's way a bit. That's the sport, that's F1. Now, obviously, myself excluded, you've developed a little bit of a reputation for being short with the press. Tell me, honestly, do you regret that in any way? Um, look, I'm not here to talk about that, Natalie. Uh, if you want to gossip, be my guest, but I'm not joining in. So no more questions, thank you. Thank you so much for your time.